What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Shakur Stevenson announces his next fight. It's going to be against Joe Cordina. It's going to be October 12th. And it's going to be for Riyadh season in Saudi Arabia. And it's going to be the co-main event to Arthur Bedebiev versus Dimitri Bivo. Light heavyweight, highly anticipated, undisputed showdown. So, with that said, obviously, this is not the fight that the fans were looking for, looking towards Shakur Stevenson fighting, because that fight is Javante Tank Davis. Nonetheless, uh, Javante Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson not fighting in November because Javante Tank Davis. <clears throat> Wasn't interested in negotiating with Shakur Stevenson. Now, you have his longtime mentor, big brother, father, uncle figure, and trainer, Coach Calvin Ford, hinting at and indicating that Shakur Stevenson has been asking for $30 million. And he didn't directly say Shakur Stevenson, he said these fighters. But we know that the only fighter that the fans are currently looking forward to seeing fight is Shakur Stevenson and Lomachenko. And they didn't say they didn't have a problem with negotiating with Vasil Lomachenko because Lomachenko was the one that pulled out the fight, not Tank Davis. So it wasn't like Tank Davis said, hey, Lomachenko is not being realistic with his demands and we're not pushing through with the fight. Lomachenko's decided that he wasn't going to fight this year. So Coach Calvin Ford is indicating that. Who else? Shakur Stevenson. Because now you have fans, now today's time, claiming that Shakur Stevenson is pricing himself out. And Shakur Stevenson was actually with $30 million. When in return, he didn't actually say Shakur Stevenson. And we know Shakur Stevenson didn't ask for $30 because he never sent Shakur Stevenson a contract. So Shakur Stevenson is fighting Joe Cordina and the fans are upset and saying he's ducking Javante Tank Davis. As I said earlier, Shakur Stevenson saying ducking Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis has all the power. He has all the leverage and he has the last say so. So he didn't send, he's responsible for sending the contract and making the fight. And he didn't do that, period. And so now Shakur Stevenson is going to fight Joe Cordina October 12th. And then he's going to fight uh, Williams of Pater in February. So guess what? We don't know who Javante Tank Davis going to fight, but he's looking to fight in November. So guess what? He wasn't looking to fight in February anyway. By the next time, Javante Tank Davis will be seen coming back into the ring uh, after November, will more than likely be in that June area, right? May, June, around that time, which means if Shakur Stevenson fights in February, he can fight Javante Tank Davis in June. And he would have beaten Joe Cordina and William Zapata in the meantime. But let's listen to what Coach Calvin had to say right here. Thing would just happen. You know what I'm saying? They think they're going to get 30 million. You know what I'm saying? When they are on free TV, they don't understand. When they sit in negotiations, that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? So again, people make decisions. That's not enough money for me. So do you want to fight Tank because you think you can beat Tank or you want to fight Tank because you're looking for a big payday? We already know that everybody looking for a big payday. That's not a problem. But they got to understand money is being put up before the fight. Before the fight even happened, they're going to right. look at Right. As I said, it gives you the indication that Shakur Stevenson is looking at $30 million. This, why? Because this does what? This uh, 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 um, saves face. That's what it does. It, it hints at that Shakur Stevenson was looking for thirty million dollars to save his face, right? So it's it's a way for them to say, well, this is why we're not fighting Shakur Stevenson next because he was pricing himself out. Period. No, they never wanted to fight Shakur Stevenson to begin with, right now. And that's it. That's all. That's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. I'm gone. Peace.